Okay, this is Steve Zerlin's Almond Milk. Okay, Steve is the man. He's been doing this stuff for 30 years. Okay, Steve, tell us about the almond milk now, you I make. I know y'all think you're drinking almond milk. That stuff you buy in the store, look what else is in there. There's a list of a million ingredients. I'm gonna show you the best almond milk you ever had. And no okay. question about it. You can be, you've never had my almond milk before, so y'all can no, taste it. I and, haven't. And you can... I just make <clears throat> what I call regular <clears throat> homemade raw almond milk. It's okay. And it's so, basically, you take a cup of almonds, you soak them overnight, it kind of grows to about a cup and a half of almonds. And uh, then you put about two and a half cups of water in that, put it in your blender, ideally a good strong blender. And you put um, some vanilla, I use raw vanilla, which is ground raw vanilla, um, and something to sweeten. And dates. Three dates are really, just three dates alone are plenty of sweetener for it. So ideally if you could soak the dates ahead of time, that's fantastic. They just bring out that much more of the sweetness and the flavor of the date in the milk. And uh, you pulverize that, and then you're going to see the same process we're going to go through here with a milk bag to actually squeeze the milk out of the pulp. Okay. And so Steve has get some. Milk. Steve's going to expand on that All basic right. almond milk. Basically, we do the almonds first. These are pre soaked, so we're going to. Um, I, I, I uh, don't necessarily soak it as long. But uh, let's see, we'll do about half of these in here, rather than try to do them all in one hit. How many almonds is that about? I don't know. That's about, that's about uh, a cup and a half right there. Okay. So all our ingredients are basically almonds, soaked, water. Back there, you'll see the dates are already soaking. Okay. Right there. Oh, those are dates soaking. Okay. How many dates is in there? There's about 10 in there right now. About 10 dates have been uh, soaking overnight already. I typically use more than that. Okay. But 10 dates will sort of convey. Uh, we can use more water than that. Actually, we might be able to do this all in one thing. We'll, we'll go for it. We'll dump them all in here. Just... See, smaller quantities in the blender are more efficient. You actually blend everything better than if you try to jam it all in and do it all at once. So, Why any vanilla? Do you use vanilla in your milk? Never have. Never have. That, but I would. I okay. would. Okay. I'm going to grab some. Get some vanilla here. Okay. Dangerous things left on high. Yeah, this is a... not just any vanilla, by the way. What no. kind of vanilla is this? This is a nice uh, vanilla powder that's from Papua New Guinea. This is from Sun Food. Papua New Guinea, no kidding. Papua Sun Food, this is one of David Wood's... Uh, David, David Wolf. Wolf. Sun Food vanilla powder, okay. Yep. Okay, now, do the same thing again with the next, next batch of almonds. Do you want this in here? We made a... You want to put that oh, in? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I see, the reason I don't put any of that sort of thing in... Not at this before, stage. Before, not at this stage, because we have to strain it first. Yeah, but... And I, I don't want to lose that no, in you, the strainer. No, you will... Trust me. I trust you. I believe I, it will I'd work. I strain... It, it still comes out. When you blend it, the, it gets into the ingredients. The vanilla does. And, and then when you strain it, it's still there. That's how I do all my nut milk. Well, you, oh, well that's... Trust me. Well, now we're now we got two conflicting approaches here. That's all right. That's all right. Just gonna blend this for a second. It's a, sense. Sense. There's a radical idea longer. here. Just gonna blend that for a minute longer here. Because it's so pulverized and powdered, it's. Let sure. me get you a better bowl. 
bigger bowl than that. Yeah, yeah that'll be good. For the two that you really need. All right, so this is fairly straightforward technique here. This point now, this is a special kind of milk cheesecloth. What do you call this, Kathleen? It's just a milking bag. They milking can, bag. It can be ordered so, online. Look, look up milk bag. So milk bag. Where did you order it from? I think I may have gotten this from Sun Food, or actually the Raw Food World guys. But if you're going on Google, you would go to what? I would just look up a, a milk bag. Okay, milk actually, bag. They, they, milk they, bag. they do sell this stuff at, at Raw Food World. Yeah, Raw Food do. World. Okay. Yeah. Just called the nut milk bag. The nut milk bag. Okay. I've been using an old t-shirt. Wow. See, when you're done with it, you just clean it out real good, rinse it, and then stick it in the freezer. And then it, it, it I've used it for a long time, like over a year. A t-shirt? Oh, yeah, you just take a t-shirt. Not okay. like this, but something cotton, you know? Like a cotton. After you've washed it. Depends on what kind of flavor you like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, in order to make this process more efficient, um, well, as soon as I put that next batch in here, we empty that out. Then one of you guys can puree the next batch of almonds while I'm squeezing. So maybe we can. This is the most time the while we do a second batch. This yeah. is then the most. See this twice. Yeah, we get the idea. This is the most time-consuming part of the process, squeezing the. Uh, so we'll come back after we've done the second batch. So make it a shorter video. So what we're going to have, what we're going to have is, is this thing is going to be full of just the almond milk with the vanilla in it. Okay. And then we're going to move on to the next phase, okay. which will remain a secret until we get there. Okay. We're pausing for now. Coming back. So we've made a whole bunch of almond milk now. Yeah, now this is what you saw in the process before. Now we've got we've got a, a nice fat quantity here, which we're going to pour in the pitcher. Let's do it over the sink. Do it over the sink. Yeah. Why not? This is the Petaluma Cooperative Almond Milk Clinic. Yeah, see, right, right. that is one. Seriously, pour some back in there. All right. This doesn't That's taste good. probably bad that bad right at this stage. No, I bet it doesn't. So now, phase two of the operation is, for me, I guess you'd have to call it almond coconut milk. Now, wouldn't we really? You would. So this is, I made, I've made the almond milk just like that, and then you add dates, and that's good. But coconut, we like to use the... Uh, this particular method for opening up. Now notice I'm using mature coconuts here today. Not the white baby the, coconuts. Right. Not the young coconuts. So now, uh, how are we going to, oh, I see just going to give some leverage like that. Here. That's a whole science itself, opening up coconuts. Well. There we go. Corkscrews work really well. You have to find the, the soft eye. There's three eyes on the, on the coconut. I have to find the soft one, make that hole there, and then what are we going to dump this into? I'm going to pull out a This cup. is good. All right, we'll dump it in here. Uh, see, now it's coming out kind of milky. Percentage, the percentages of really good coconuts when you buy these older ones is not that high. Although, I'm hearing a lot of water in here. It's not smelling really bad. They can. They can be. No, that doesn't smell that. Sometimes it doesn't smell that great, but then when you taste it, you realize it's fine. If you, if it's not good, you'll know right away when you taste it. That's the problem with the older coconuts is they can tend to ferment sometimes. Coconuts are just a great way to get more coconuts in your diet. It's not a bad thing at all. It's a good thing. Does that make sense? Is that I? <laughs> I I'm saying so, something probably. profound. Well, there's a lot of ways you can have coconut. You have coconut cream directly. Which is coconut? You can have coconut boo. You put coconuts in green smoothies. You can put lots of different places. All right. So here's our coconut water, which we'll add in the end. But first, we're good. Good. We're good, we're good. So now, the fun stuff. Pop this baby. Let's do it over here so the dust falls in here. You got it split right there. So now the thing is we gotta pop the meat off. Now this isn't this is a phase of the operation which is kind of 
time intensive. I usually do this outside, actually. Tell you the truth. So, you got a nice clean piece of meat. Now, sometimes you see the little br the brown stuff mm -hmm. here. Yeah, you need to take that. I I often this doesn't look to me. See, this doesn't smell bad at all. Sometimes you get a slightly moldy smell, and then I and then I always shave this part off. But I would just puree that the way it is, separate it from the shell, and 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 maybe wash it, and then just go right ahead and puree it. Because we're going to strain it the same way we did the almonds, and there won't be any real solid matter. Okay, I'm going to turn this off again while we go ahead. And All right. So so that's what we're going to do. We're going to separate this meat out. We're going to puree it the same way we did the almonds. Squeeze it the same way we did the almonds. This is a significant part of the process. See, getting this out of here is a little bit of a. Mm. So we're going to take this. See now, you can buy flaked coconut or, you know, dried coconut in a bag, but it's not man, the same. If you take it out of the coconut yourself. You know just how good that coconut was, and you're getting it in its pure food source. It hasn't dried out. It hasn't. It's fresher. Fresher is always better. Now More you know problems. this. This here requires a little hammeration because it's uh, a little too hard to dig into here. All you want to do is you just kind of crack it like that, and then the stuff comes out quite easily, much more easily, I should say. All right, we'll come back after the coconut. Yeah, yeah, stage. you get the idea. You know, we're separating the meat from.